Start being home. It's really great to see these young people and their enthusiasm coming through the terminal. It kind of brings back part of your youth to you. And uh, you kind of live it a little bit again through them. And of course, if you can do anything to help them, they really love it. When we assumed the soldier, we did not lay aside the citizen. Here at Philadelphia's International Airport, the USO is not forgetting our most important citizens. Through these gates, each year pass 200,000 of our most important citizens, the men and women in service to our country as well as their families. They leave America through Terminal D of the Military Airlift Command. Until they return, they will put their lives on the line to protect our interests, our liberty, and preserve peace throughout the free world. The Philadelphia USO is their last impression of America, the land they have vowed to protect. They call it the VIP lounge for the very important people that are going over to uh, do this job for we Americans. The USO Airport Center in Philadelphia International Airport is regarded as the finest USO Airport Center in the world. It should be. It is here in Philadelphia we say goodbye and also welcome home again after a job well done. Its features include a hospitality center complete with information and referral services, a baggage room for temporary storage, a refreshment and coffee bar, a television theater complete with video cassette projection, conversation, table game and letter writing areas, an extensive paperback library, a comfortable sleeping room, a child care center and nursery complete with cribs, high chairs and toys, plus a changing room with private toilet and shower. This US Silicon is very, it's very nice. It has uh, a lot of good features about it. And they show, you know, they show, you know, the new movies and uh, they have the sleeping area over here and uh, the snacks and that. I mean, it's very comfortable and very enjoyable. But keeping our USO the best USO anywhere in the world is no easy task. 200 registered USO volunteers contribute 6,500 hours of their time dispensing 71,000 units of individual service. Without the volunteers, we couldn't possibly be in business here at the airport. The hours that we maintain, it's just totally impossible with our limited and restricted budget to staff this USO center. Consequently, we rely totally on our USO volunteers. We wouldn't be here without them. Well, we greet the servicemen as they come in. We ask them, of course, for identification. They sign in, and if there's any questions, we answer them. Uh, where do you go in Philadelphia while you kill 10 hours? I will be glad to tell them where to go from Philadelphia to kill 10 hours. The, during the day, many of the servicemen, as they leave, will stop and turn around and say thank you. And that, to me, is very rewarding. Just the fact that they, they acknowledge that we did something. These people find the time, they make the time, to lend a helping hand. But they need your help as well. The USO needs and deserves corporate support. The USO is funded by the United Way of Southeastern Pennsylvania. However, that funding only accounts for 50% of our budgeted expenses. It's most important that we have corporate support of our operations here. We hope that a corporation would be interested in covering the cost, the overhead cost, for a month's operation of our USO Airport Center. After fiercely competitive bidding between Philadelphia and Newark, Philadelphia was awarded the lucrative East Coast Overseas Transportation Terminal on March 1, 1984. It was good business then, and it is good business now, to support our men and women in uniform. Well, we found uh, when we originally 
started going around calling on corporations, getting them to put up the money, which they did, hundreds, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars, to build this facility, that all of them felt that, number one, it was a good thing to do. Uh, it, it, uh, it was a part of the feeling that we have for our service people uh, that can best be expressed by doing things for them that otherwise wouldn't happen. Uh, and from the standpoint of the businesses themselves, I not only got the good feeling, but it was a marvelous PR venture for them. Uh, they found that there was an awareness on the part of their presence uh, that was really a part of the whole support that business gives the USO that probably came became more visible here than in any other place in corporate involvement and things of this kind. I'm so glad that our business community has recognized right from the very beginning this was something that they wanted to do, needed to do, ought to do, and they have followed it up with real action and a lot of dollars. Most importantly, the thanks of these very important Americans speaks to the continuing need to maintain our USO as the best that it can be. And it was a fortunate thing that it was here because uh, I, I've never had the opportunity to fly the, the MAX system before. I had no idea where I was going and the fact that this was here was a, was a great help to me. The fact that I could leave my things, know that they were safe, uh, be able to get a cup of coffee if I wanted. It was very nice. Well, we've been traveling by car from here, from San Diego, for nine days. And we've only stopped two nights. So it's nice to have this here. <laughs> Our American service personnel deserve special consideration. We often forget that there is a special vulnerability to members of America's armed forces, even off-duty. They are easily identifiable targets. They must be constantly on the alert, particularly in overseas locations. And that military personnel are young, most between 18 and 25, married, with children coping with long separations. The USO must be there wherever they go, but it is important to remember no government funds support the United Services Organization. People were as surprised as I am that the USO is sponsored by contribution. I always thought it was sponsored by the government. No government money. I always thought the Army paid for them, too. It's totally self-supporting charity, and they do a great job. So for more contribution and, and more USO at the different bases. They're doing a good job. Only financial support can ensure this vital civilian link to our military personnel is maintained. A lot of people don't know this, but we have no funding from the government. It's all done through contributions from the Philadelphia community. Uh, businesses, corporations, individual contributions, and uh, that's basically where our funding comes from. And that's why it's so important to get this USO message across. A Blue Ribbon Committee concluded the USO is just as vital in peacetime as in time of war. It stated, if a voluntary organization like the USO did not exist, it would have to be created. Isolation of the military from civilian influences is not, we believe, in the interest of this nation. Each month, the Philadelphia USO intends to designate that month as a particular corporate sponsors month. All military personnel, as well as all civilians traveling through the airport, will recognize the special contribution of that corporation during the month. We can put up a banner, a poster, uh, informing them that this month's hospitality is through the courtesy of ABC Corporation. We'll be glad to do any lobby displays. We also have the television theater in which we can put periodic promotions of their product and service. The future of America is safeguarded by these outstanding men and women. The future of corporate America will follow as these citizens become the major consumers and community leaders of the 21st century. Uh, we have an opportunity to provide services that are rather unique. I don't think there are services like this any other airport in the world that I know of. It would probably be the first thing they saw when they came back, the sign that these various corporations have been supportive of them. And this is something that you probably don't erase from people's minds. Your support of our USO will be remembered by thousands of young people from every corner of our great nation. Let our USO put you in touch with them. Get from time to time letters of thanks from our clients, and we're most appreciative for those notes. We share those notes with our volunteers and with our board of directors. Recently, we got a letter from a grandfather who cites an experience that his daughter had while in the Philadelphia International Airport. 
Unfortunately, her child was hit in the eye with a coat hanger, if I could quote from his letter. My daughter was frantic, went to the nearest tower in the terminal to have her husband paid, and the woman refused. So my daughter was frantic and ran to the USO counter for help. The people at the USO found her husband right away and took them to the hospital, waited, and then brought them back in time to catch their flight to Turkey. The little boy was checked in Germany and again in Turkey. His eye is fine. But we, his grandparents, would like to thank the USO for all they did. Our daughter was so happy to have their help. I guess that's what the USO is all about. Again, thank you very much. You'll never know when you'll meet the USO. <laughs>